everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Scotch Canadian, Doom Chibi 99. Welcome back to Undertale. Last time, we just got the introduction. We found out that little flower is. He's an asshole! Ole, ole, ole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, ever since I got introduced to that song by my boyfriend, it's been stuck in my head. Anyways, I think we've reached Toriel's house. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. Aww, Toriel! I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Yeah. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. I'm dropping a toy knife because I don't need it. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aw, oh, Toriel! Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home! I want to look around. It's you! Room under renovations. Inside the drawer are flower seeds and some broken crayons. <laughs> what? Is this her room? It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled page. Uh, no, I'm not that crazy. Definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. Oh, yeah, that's for sure. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> Bull rushes! You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer! <laughs> ah, the cactus. Truly the most sundaria of the plants. Just a regular old bucket of snails. <laughs> What's in this drawer? Nothing? Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in, in a disparity of sizes. You know what? Chibi be tired. Find a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. <laughs> Before I speak to Toriel, I want to look around. The stovetop is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. <laughs> For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You put your hand inside. Oh, I always love when fire is like that. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. <laughs> Toriel, go, Mom! Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a cure curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Uh, yeah, I want to know when I can leave the underground. This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about the book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, no thanks. I really want to know how to exit the ruins. Um, I have an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a radula? Interesting. Uh, not really, Toriel. I really want to know how to exit the ruins. I have something to do. 
stay here. Toriel, wait! She's probably gone down here. These books are worn. They may have been read many times. You know what? Before I head out there, I'm gonna save. know to how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one, no one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Toriel, I'm not leaving. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. Yeah, I've got a bit of a rebellious streak. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. <laughs> My final warning, huh? Like I said, rebellious streak, I'm not gonna listen. You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Go, Mom. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Uh, check. E defense, E the attack. Knows it's best for you. Whoa! She prepares a magical attack. Talk to her. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Whoa. Yikes! Ow. Toriel looks through you. I'm sparing her. Whoa! Okay, this one's easy to do. Yikes. Oh. you here. I know we do not have much, but 
we can have a good life here. I'm not going, Toriel. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. No. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. It's not pathetic. I know what I'm doing, Toriel. Trust me. No. I, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations. My loneliness. My fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh, go, Mom! Goodbye, my child. Mom, I'm gonna miss you. <sighs> okay, we just survived Goat Mom. I ate a spider donut because I only had two HP left. <sighs> Flower. Clever! Very clever! You think you're really smart, don't ya? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. Actually, I do, you little shit. You didn't kill anybody this time. This time? What do you mean by that? But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? I'll keep trying. Will you kill at frustration or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. Actually, it is. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> oh, I wish I could stomp on him. But here we go. We're out of the ruins. Undertale. By Toby Fox. What's this? Huh? There's a camera in bushes. Okay. The way back is locked. Ooh, what an eerie ambiance. There's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Yeah, well. Uh huh! It's been smashed like it was nothing. Ooh, what's going on here? Oh, I'm getting bad vibes. Whoa! Run! Wait, I can't run! It's a bridge! Froze. I, I, I can't move. Something's coming towards me. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Okay. Um. <laughs> Yo! 
old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. <laughs> He's right, he got me. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious! I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think I see him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Really? Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. It is conveniently shaped. Sup, bro? <laughs> oh my god, he looks like Skeletor. You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You're just hanging around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Hey! <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling! I am and I hate it. <sighs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Don't do it, Sans, don't do it! Down to the bone! <laughs> uh, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Wow! You wanna get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I can handle that. It's some sort of checkpoint or a sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Just hearing about it all, that makes me want a hot dog. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. If he's gonna be up ahead, why'd he go back that way? The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. What's this? It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Sure. All that's attached to the end of is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number! You decide not to call. is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. Okay, just hearing that first part reminded me of the expiration date from TF2. This is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. No! <laughs> the same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Uh, tough glove, you know what? I'll bring out the tough glove item. Uh, use. You could do the tough glove. I don't need a stick. Hey, it's the Skull Bros again! 
So, as I was saying about Undyne... <gasps> oh, it's getting faster. Sans. Oh my god, is that a human? Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god, is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god, Sans, I finally did it! I'm dying with, I'm gonna, I'll be so popular, popular! You shall not pass this area! Where are you, Gandalf? I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! Oh, excuse me. I will capture- I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue! Only if you dare! Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Thanks, Sans. Whoa! Snowdrake flutters forth. Uh, check. This teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Better not snowflake out. Woo! Smells like a wet pillow. Uh, I'll laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Whoa. Ow! Please, with this cool joke, I'm out. This? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman. Note. Not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Oh, so Papyrus made that one. Hmm? Absolutely no moving. But I have to get through. <gasps> Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. It's a doggo! Uh, check. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch! Okay. Doggo can't seem to find anything. I'll pet him. Ah! You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! Pet, 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 pet. Pat, pet, 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 pet. Whew. 30 gold. Nice. Something pet me. Something that isn't m moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Come back, buddy. <laughs> Hello? Is anyone there? No? Hmm? Someone's been smoking dog treats. That's a new one. Hey, Sans. Hey, it's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Thanks. Whoa, slippy slippy. An ice cap strips, struts into view. This teen wonders why he isn't named Ice Hat. Where's your hat? Ah! Whoa! It's snowing dandruff. Uh, compliment. You inform comp Ice Cap that is a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Whoa! Yikes! Woo! Ice Cap makes sure its hat is still there. Looks like I'm gonna have to ignore this guy. Hello! My hat's up here! Oh, 
Uh, let's try to steal the hat. It's not weak enough. I know it! Ah! Yikes! Ow! I have a spur scotch pie. I just love my hat. Okay. Oh. Nor. Fine. I don't care. Yikes, I hate when he does this. You try to steal Ice Cap's hat and succeeded. It melts in your hands. What's the point? Ice Cap is no more. North Ice, South Ice, West Ice, East, Snowden Town. And Ice. Let's see what's up this way. Hey, it's a snowman! Hello. I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you. Good luck. I am out of healing items. What do I do? It's the skill bros again. You are so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. <gasps> Aha! The human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because... The amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. What? <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Uh, papyrus? Uh, I, uh, I don't want to say anything. Hold this, please. <coughs> okay, try now. Uh, you just gave me the answer, Papyrus. Incredible, you slippery snail! You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It was designed by my brother's sons. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Did you just moonwalk out of here? Hey, thanks. Brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that feel weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> Who's this dude? I don't understand why these ain't on selling. It's the perfect weather for something cool. Huh? Oh! Customer. Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 G. You know what? I'll take a couple. Have a super duper day. Okay, buy one more. Here's Sans. I've been thinking about selling treats too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Sure. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Uh. Sure. Really? I love 500G. 5000G. That's my final offer. Even though I don't have it. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> What's this? Smell danger rating. Snow smell, snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. <laughs> Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. S smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Even though green is red. Okay. <laughs> Down. This way. Uh... Come on, go, 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 go. It's melting! I did it! Blue, hop 
Hopping and twirling, your original style pulled you through. You are awarded two G. Oh, come on! Hey, another one. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decadrian. Hey, there they are again. Human, I hope you're ready for her. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search? Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Uh, no thank you. Sans, I didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that! In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hottest. What? Really? Dude! That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones! Unbelievable! Human, solve this dispute! Which is harder, Jumble or Quark? Well, Sans told me to be nice to his brother, so I'm gonna side with Pyrus on this one. <laughs> ah, ah, yes! Humans must be very intelligent. They also find Junior Jumble so difficult. <laughs> Did I do good, Sans? Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday, you got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> What's this? Hey, it's another mouse hole. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. <laughs> Warning, dog mirage. Hmm? There's a switch in the snow. That's what I get for wandering around cooking a- <gasps> The lesser dog! Just says pet, 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 pet. You know what? I'm gonna pet. You barely lifted your hand unless your dog got excited. <laughs> oh, he's so cute! Whoa! It's already overexcited. Whoa. Whew, that was close. <laughs> this guy is hyped! Just like my pupper Russell! I can see that tail wagging! <laughs> okay, this is gonna take a little while. I'll be right back. Okay, you see what's happening right here? That neck is going! You call the dog, but it's too late. It cannot hear you. Far away bark. It's coming back! I'm so glad my dog Russell doesn't do this. Basically, you just have to keep petting it. Then does this crazy shit. <laughs> it's possible that you may have a problem. Come on, I want to see its head go down. All the way down. There's nothing wrong with petting a dog. Lester Dog is lowering. Doggo.
Huh? Why did that say? The sure dog is impenetrable, but appreciates the attempt. Is is learning to read. Your dog is whining because he can't see you. I think we've probably entered a uh, crazy ass thing. was not meant to pet this much. You know what? I'm gonna stop for th right there. We'll spare this pupper. <laughs> what a cute doggy. Huh. What the? <gasps> Grim Reapers! smell where is that smell if you're a smell identify your smell <laughs> hmm here's that weird smell makes me want to eliminate eliminate you doggy assault you uh dogami dogaressa uh roll around because it didn't say that, uh, if you roll around, you'll smell like a puppy. Of course we are a second. Number two nose nuzzle champions of the world. Thanks. Dogs may want to re-smell you. Uh, re-sniff. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. What smells like a- Are you actually a little puppy? Don't move. Don't move. The dogs think you may be a lost puppy. Uh, pet. You pet the dog, Aressa. A dog that pets dogs? Amazing. What about me? Yikes. Ow. The dogs are reevaluating your smell. You pet dog me. Another pup. Well, don't leave me out. Hey, I just pet ya. Whoop. Whoop. The dog's minds have been expanded. Okay, I can spare him now. Dogs can pet other dogs. A new world has opened up for us. Thanks, weird puppy. <laughs> you know what? I think when we reach uh, Snowden Town... I'll stop. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Hey, there's Papyrus! What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? You know what? I'm gonna tell him the truth. I left it. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta! Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's loosening up. My brother started a sock collection recently. How sad me. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. say this. You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by ar arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow rose to the ground. Now the solution is different. 
And as usual, my lazy bro my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, why not human? I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try your the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Okay. Uh, if I start from the top, maybe it'll work. Yeah, it kind of looks like papyrus almost. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna have to restart that. Uh, let's try down. No, that ain't gonna work either. smelling like lemons, prawns don't eat you. I think I got it. Alright. Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I know this solution. <laughs> Get ready! What? Please pet dog. 
Knowing that that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. <laughs> Seems like the base of a snow dog. This one looks like lightning. Hi! A dog just rushed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions, but... As it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch. But I couldn't turn away. <laughs> What's this? It's a snow papyrus. It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. Oh man, this is starting to remind me of the ice cave level from uh, Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal. All I need is the music. Decorated as a prank. Don't put any more on me. Ah! Easy, buddy. I'll help. You don't want decorations on you? I'll remove some, uh. I'll remove the lentilier bookmark of a smug teen winking. That's a little better. Thanks. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry if I'm coughing. Doing the voices for Sans Papyrus is kind of doing a number on my throat. You remove a stocking filled with chicken nuggets. That's a little better. Whoa! Uh, uh, uh. Whoa! You remove barbed wire made of pipe cleaners. A weight has been lifted. Give Trot's problems have been taken away. I want to see what's up here. Hey, look! It's a little house! Ooh. It's a door. <laughs> Guess I won't be able to find out what's behind door number one. Okay, Sans, how are you doing that? It's Snow Puff. And this, it is a Snow Puff. What's this? What a tiny doghouse. Woof. This, however, is a Snow Puff. Surprisingly, it's a Snow Puff. Snow Puff. Is it really a Snow Puff? Behold, a Snow Puff. There's 30 tea inside of this. What is this? It's a snow puff. And this one also is a snow puff. Pupper! <laughs> it's the greater dog! Uh, beckon. Because I know puppers like to play. Come here, boy! It bounds towards you, fleck flecking slobber into your face. Ow! Greater dog is seeking affection. Hang on, I, I need some nice cream. Is this as sweet as you? Ow! You want affection? I'll pet ya! Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. 
Just listen to that music. <sighs> then it wakes up. It's so excited. Whoa! The box! The gray dog is patting the ground with its front paws. He wants to play. You make a snowball and throw it up, throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it back to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Ow. I gotta time that one. Greater dog wants some TLC. As you pet the dog, it sinks its tired weight into you. Whoa! Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Ow. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm dead. Can't give up just yet. Chibi, stay determined. Oh, I gotta do the puzzle again. is 40%. You know what that means? Pet him some more! You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Legs, legs, time it, time it. Whew. Greater dog is contented. Okay. can spare the greater doggo. <laughs> She's a little popper! Aw, oh, good boy! when we reach this uh, Snowden town. Safe. Human! This is your final, most dangerous challenge. Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! That's overkill, Papyrus. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire. Spikes will swing. Blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair. And my traps are easily, expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Let's talk to Sans. I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I'd make sure I understand blue attacks. Yeah, I think I do. Lee, doing his voice is killing my throat. But, hey, hang on a sec, that looked like Flowey. Is that little flower watching me? Come on. Aha! Here we are! Snowed in! <laughs> Snowed in! Get it? But in Anyways, we're gonna stop here, but first let me put that snow piece, the snowman piece, in the box. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. I'm gonna save. So, we managed to get through the ruins. Sorry to goat mom, but like I said, I wasn't going to fight her. Um, we also got introduced to the Skelebros, Sans and Papyrus. Or, sorry, the Great Papyrus. We made some doggo friends. <laughs> so yeah, next episode we're going to travel through Snowden. 
and see if we can get past or make be friends with Sans and Papyrus. Only one way to find out. Anyways, hopefully you like this adventure and hopefully you like the next. You can hit that like button down there if you like this video and you can also subscribe to the other stuff I've done and to see more to come. So until next time, catch you later my Chibi Dominator.